Hi all folks, this is Maximum Galaxy S3 root.com. So today I'm gonna to show you how to uh unroot your Galaxy S3, the AT&T version, um SGH uh ooh, yucky. Um i747 series. Very easy to do. Um you just need a Windows computer uh, for this one. I have a uh, instruction using mobile Odin later. It's not supported yet um on the AT&T version yet, so that's why I'm making this one with Odin using Windows. Um, so first go ahead and um, go ahead and uh, try to run Triangle app, Triangle Away app um, that will reset your binary count and when you Odin the official stock ROM it will actually not um, count, uh, it, it won't raise the count on the binary count so you'll be fine. Um, so go ahead and run Triangle Away app, I'll have a links to it and then you can run it. Um, by the time you actually see this video, it might actually work, but as of today, it actually doesn't work. It's not supported yet, but I'm sure Chainfire, the developer of that app, will get to it. Um, but if you're not returning for warranty, and in most cases, they don't really actually check for the uh, binary count. Um, they'll just check if your phone has, has been you know, in water or you've dropped it or whatever. But um, So let's do this uh, to, do, to unroot your phone. Simply hold down, volume down, center button, and the power button. And also, um, well, let's do this first. And uh, we'll put it into download mode. And let go of the power button. And uh, when your phone resets, when the uh, screen goes off, and keep holding down volume down and the center button. Hit volume up uh, when you see the warning screen. And connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And let's go to your computer. Next, you want to download uh, Odin 3 uh, v185.zip. If you unzip it, you'll get a folder with two files, the Odin exe file. And also, um, go ahead and download the stock ROM file. I'll have links to uh, stockroms.net, um, the i747. If you unzip it, you'll get a folder with two files. Uh, one of the files is what you need, whoops, and it ends in tar.md5, just like that. Simply run uh, Odin v185. And uh, we're going to uh, make sure you have um, the COM yellow highlight there. The COM number doesn't matter just as long as you have it. Uh, make sure if you don't have it, just install Samsung Keys. I'll have links to it. And uh, after you install Samsung Keys, don't run Samsung Keys. Just, just use uh, Samsung Keys to install the drivers, which will install the drivers. Then unplug your phone and plug it back in. If you still don't get it, just go ahead and try on another computer. Um, go bar borrow your wife's computer. Uh, go borrow your friend's computer. It's always to, good to have another computer when you do Odin because a lot of the times it's some kind of driver interference from some of your other programs. Rather than trying to figure that out, it's easier to just use another computer. It's the fastest way. Um, so once you've got to this point, simply click PDA and go find uh, where you unzip the stock ROM file. For me, it's here. Um, and that file I was just talking about. Hit open and hit start. You don't have to touch anything else and hit start and this will unroot your phone back to the stock AT&T Galaxy S3 ICS ROM that came with your phone. Um, so it's gonna flash it and also if you get any errors during uh, this part it's most likely um, due to the fact that you might be you know you, you might be using a USB hub or when this is running don't run any other programs because this program does require like full processing power like if you try to multitask and run um, graphic heavy you know stuff like Photoshop it will fail so don't touch anything else leave it um, and try to close any other apps that uh, any other software that's running on your computer and I don't really advise you to use method using Heimdall on Mac or Linux even though you can do it it's a little bit it's a lot more complicated because there's a lot of files the best way to do it is actually use mobile Odin which is not supported yet but within a week or two um, by the time you see this video it's probably supported and by then I'll have another video using uh, mobile Odin which you can follow also um, so I'm gonna let this go and I'll just fast forward this from right
So um, my thing got stuck. If it gets stuck on system for like uh, five minutes, um, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm actually using a USB hub. That's why I'm going to try it directly connected. Um, just reset it. Hold down, volume down, uh, power, uh, home button, and the power button again. And uh, hold it down until your phone resets. I know a lot of people might be having the same trouble. And then let go of the power button again. Same thing. And uh, wait till it gets back into the Odin download mode. And this time I'm going to connect it to my um, directly to my computer. Sometimes I forget. That's why. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again and do the same thing. And uh, let's run it again. It'll work the second time. And uh, same file. Hit start. This time it should work um, again. That happens when you use a, a USB hub a lot of times and I just forgot and sometimes it works also with the USB hub but if it doesn't work just try again um, not a huge deal I've you know I've had fails more than most people I've never actually bricked the phone while doing this pretty safe pretty safe to do so I'll be back um, I'm gonna fast forward this again Hi all folks, so it is done. Um, I went to actually get, um, I took a shaving, I, I shaved myself. And uh, my phone already rebooted. Uh, let me change the camera angle here. Um, hold on a second. And there we go. Um, that should be all, all unrooted back to stock. Uh, let me see if I have super user. It's gone, it's zipped. I still have uh, all my apps, um, so it doesn't erase your apps. Um, but if you're coming from custom ROM, you might have to do a factory reset uh, if you get a lot of force closes or that um, you end up in a boot loop. Um, simply do a factory reset to get back into um, stock recovery. Hold down, it's the same as Clockwork My Recovery. Hold down volume up, center, and the power button until your phone resets. Um, and give it a second. And when your phone reset, let go of the power button like that, and you'll feel a little vibration, just like you did before. And keep holding down volume up and the center home button. You'll see the logo, and then you'll see the stock recovery with the belly open Android thingy. There you go, you can let go now. Um, simply go ahead and do factory reset, especially if you're gonna return for warranty. Go to wipe data factory reset, hit the power button, say yes. Um, hit the power button and this will delete all your personal settings apps uh, whatnot and also it will pretty much you know reset everything so your phone's just good as new and uh, somebody somebody else can you know buy your phone and log in whatever if you're selling it you can do this also and uh, remember the contents of your internal stories such as personal photos and videos are still there and also um, in your external SD card so I suggest you copy that over to your hard disk uh, format or erase all your personal files there and then return it for a warranty sell it whatever you're gonna do um, but I should be back completely stock and uh, it's gonna start over make you um, sign it from the beginning and once you get here that's it and uh, that's pretty much how you unroot your AT&T Galaxy S3 SGH i747 um, and also I've posted a uh, method for T-Mobile and i9300 it's on my site and eventually I'll have the Sprint and the Verizon version also and if you have a Galaxy S3 whichever version you have don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS3root.com uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have problem with your phone. 
And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me. It helps me greatly. Subscribe button up there if you have. Thanks a lot. And uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And we'll just give it a second here um, so it boots up. Um, just to show you that it's been completely uh, unrooted. There we go. And let me just skip everything here and just show you. And now I have to go uh, root my phone again. And uh, it's good to get things out of the way here. And boom. And I'm back to uh, completely stock with stock apps. And this will restore all your apps, um, stock apps, if you accidentally deleted them or you're trying to get rid of bloatware and, you know, you bricked your phone or whatever. Um, complete back to stock. That's how you do it. Thanks, you guys, and uh, for supporting my channel, websites. And stay high on Android. And as always, don't buy an iPhone. Um, it sucks, and you know what Apple is doing right now is just horrible. Um, suing Samsung for Galaxy Nexus, and uh, I don't know. I think they they should just stop doing this. Just make your own iPhone five or six, and uh, leave us alone.